Hi, can eye drops dissolve cataract? Isn't it very interesting question? Many people ask this. Can eye drops dissolve cataract? The answer is no. But let us see why it is no and what are the options for cataract. What is cataract? Cataract is an opacification of the natural crystalline lens of the eye. Like you have a camera, the camera has a lens and a film and various other ingredients. Suppose the lens is hazy, then the images will be blurred. Similarly in the eye, there is a crystalline lens which is working very efficiently from our birth but due to aging process, some protein changes happen inside the crystalline lens and it loses its clarity and it becomes opaque. The, five, the alignment of the fibers and the nature of the fibers determine the clarity. But if the ingredients of the crystalline lens, the various protein changes happen, then it becomes opaque. When it becomes opaque, the light rays that are passing through the eye they can't get focused to a sharp image on the retina. Retina is like the film of the camera. So these images won't become clear. It will be something like a smudged lens or a damaged lens or a lens which is out of focus and you try to take images. You see all blurry, blurry things. So that is cataract. So by putting drops, we cannot reverse this aging change. So many people have tried various other forms. I, I, I'm an allopathic doctor, so a doctor of the modern medicine. But there are certain other systems of medicine which advocate some kind of medicines claiming that it dissolves cataract. Some people use it. Many people have used it for years. And some people claim benefit. Now we have to examine why are these people claiming benefit. For that we have also have to understand the process of cataract formation. Is there a particular age at which cataract will form? The answer is no. We can only say statistics. Generally it is a disease of the aged people and those who are 60 and above, 60 years of age and above are more likely to get. Having said that I must also say we also see cataracts in younger population anytime after 40 years of age and sometimes we see cataracts forming only after 90 years of age. So when we talk of some age or uh, some generality in uh, medicine, it's only that more probably it is around that age and we do have on either extremes cataract formation happening. Now for example, there is a person in whom by the nature of his constitution of health, if his cataract is going to get formed or started starting to form at the age of 80 or 85. And he starts using these medicines which claim to be dissolving cataract or preventing cataract at the age of 60. He enjoys clear vision and he attributes the success to the medicine. So this is where certain group of people who use medicines like that, they claim that the delayed formation of cataract is because of that medicine. Then wh why am I saying that it's an age and not because of the drops? I am saying this because if you have in that family other people who are not using medicines, they also develop cataract at a later age. So it's that familial kind of a tendency or a good health those people enjoy rather than attributing to the drop. Another thing is there are many studies in which one eye drops have been put, the other eye drops have not been put. Then even in the other eye where drops have not been put, do not develop cataract. So it is not due to the medicine which is acting to dissolve or prevent cataract. It is just that in that person, the cataract would have anyway formed at a later age. On the other hand, if you take some familial things, the cataracts start off at 40-45 years itself. 
in them these drops do not have any effect in short cataract is a physical opacity in the natural lens of the eye and this is an aging process it's not even a disease though it affects the person's vision it doesn't come under disease category it's something like graying of a hair graying of hair wrinkling of skin these are not diseases they are natural aging processes but in the eye it definitely deserves treatment because vision is so important irrespective of age more so in elderly people vision is very important and hence it is treated so cataract is a natural aging process of the eye and it's a physical opacity in the lens of the eye which doesn't get dissolved by any kind of drops some people ask will yoga help eye exercises help and will spectacle lenses help yoga also doesn't help preventing cataract formation eye exercises also do not help preventing cataract formation spectacle lenses to some extent the initial blurring that is caused by cataract and some forms of cataract themselves will cause change in the spectacle number so in such situations if a particular glasses are given there will be a temporary relief and the relief is also to a certain extent it doesn't give complete clear vision because even after going through the spectacle lenses the light rays have to pass through this opaque lens and hence the final image is going to be blurry so spectacles may in certain forms of cataract give a temporary relief or they may help to buy some more time before a more decisive treatment is given then the question is what is the treatment for cataract treatment for cataract as on date is surgery and one thing good about this surgery that cataract surgery is this is one of the most commonly performed surgery on the human body this is one surgery which has the highest success rate among all the surgeries that are performed on the human body having said that if you are undergoing cataract surgery you must discuss with your eye doctor as to the overall health of the eye because cataract is one form of vision disturbing ailment but there could be other ailments inside the eye in addition to cataract so and hence in your particular case you need to discuss with your doctor as to what you can expect post operatively and what are the other ailments uh, in your eye and what you can expect some more things you need to discuss with your doctor are the various intraocular lens options which suit your lifestyle and your condition of the eye and having coming to a overall information about your eye you can take a good decision which suits you best and your doctor is the best person to advise you on this thank you